he loaded it in suitcases. And when he takes it to Saudi Arabia, he saves it in Saudi Arabia. It's not a Muslim only that does that. Nigerians, I'm saying, every Nigerians. So don't relate it to say it's a Muslim. That, no. When they do so, uh, after they save that money in Saudi Arabia, they wait for two, three months. And they go to Saudi Arabia, transfer that funds to Dubai, and leave it in Dubai, and use it to buy houses in Dubai. When they buy the houses in Dubai, after two, three years, they sell the house in Dubai and take the money away from Dubai, go to America, and America trace it in a circular form. And it now know it's a Nigerian that put that money there and take it there and put it out and take it there and take it out and take it to America. America find out, say, okay, why? Where do you get this money from? This is our money in our country. Where is it from? You are working so, 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 yes. Where do you get it from? If you don't, lock it up. When you do so, economically and economically reasoning, based on the affricative logistic of thinking of logic in mathematics, in econometric methods, you find that actually, when you take money from one country to another and save it in another country, you deny the country where you get it from progress. Because you are creating job and opportunity for that country. And your country, you are denying them progress. And that is worry. And when Nigeria is short of money to pay obligation, it's because Nigerian leaders stole away the money and empty Nigerian purse. This is the problem. This is the dilemma 